Take us out. Right. Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to the Landmark Hotel, the press conference of Star Fox Promotions in association with Hatton Promotions, for our show on April the 1st at the Crystal Palace National Sports Centre. Um, firstly, I'd obviously like to thank you all for being here today. Um, it's, it's a great event, and obviously we're going to go into it in a bit more depth. Um, I'd like to thank also our partners at KO London and Butterfly Boxing for their continued support of that box promotions events. Um, continued support means a lot. And of course now, I'd like to thank Ricky and Nathan and the rest of the Hatton team for coming down today, making a trip down to London for this press conference. I think <clears throat> this fight <clears throat> is one of those where British boxing at the moment is going for a really, really boom time. It's a fantastic place to be at the moment, British boxing. And the heavyweight division is probably um, the most exciting it's been for many years. You've got obviously the, the top two, in my opinion, um, Joshua and Tyson Fury. And then beyond that, you've got the cluster of maybe Hay, Bellew, um, Chis um, Chisora and Dillian White. Then below that, there's a cluster of fighters. And I think these two are going to contest to see which one of those is going to be in that mix. Um, the fight initially was for the English title. Um, unfortunately, the board, in their wisdom, decided to downgrade that, that title, but we instead got the IBO International Heavyweight Title Eliminator. What does that mean? Well, at the moment, the champion is a man called Alexis Santos, an American. He's 18 and 1 with 15 knockouts, quite a dangerous customer. And one of these two men, if they decide, will have six months to put in a challenge to that champion. <clears throat> also, it gives them a genuine IBO rating as well, which is obviously very uh, significant for their careers and their development. But um, as I said, I think this is a fantastic fight. I think the main event as well, fantastic undercard, is going to mean that April 1st is going to be a great, great night for boxing, professional boxing. I'd now like to take the time to introduce, of course, um, the main event, but first of their managers. I'd like to introduce a man that needs no introduction, um, former light <coughs> lightweight champion of the world, a man that I spent, I think, 2007, I was up in the East End, in the Dundee Arms, opposite the um, York Core, and I was waiting for Ricky to fight a young man called Floyd Mayweather. And um, we stayed up all night drinking Irish coffee and waiting for him to fight, and it was a fantastic night. And I'm sure that he looks at his young fighters now and would like to hopefully build them up as, and bring them along. So, Ricky, without further ado, thank you very much for coming, sir. And um, just tell us a little bit about how you see the fight and uh, introduce your young heavyweight. Sure. Um, thanks, Tommy. Um, thanks for the opportunity as well for, um, for Nathan. Um, training Nathan for our maybe. Two years now, maybe just a little bit less, and um, say I'm impressed with him will be an understatement. You know, he's, uh, you know, after nine amateur fights, he, um, he was already in the Great Britain squad, and he's only been boxing for just over 12 months, you know. When he come through the gym door, you know, I was, I was shocked. You know, like, he'd only had 12 fights all in all, you know, he was already in the Great Britain squad, and he'd only been boxing just over 12 months, and he, he just, just looked like he'd been boxing all his life. and. Uh, <coughs> So I've got very, very high hopes um, for Nathan. Uh, this is his biggest, biggest test, you know, obviously, and hopefully he can break into the top 10 um, with, with, a win, with a win here. Um, but he's, uh, he's, he's had lots of different styles of opponents. He's coming through really, really good. He's improving all the, all the time. And I think it's a, a step up, and a step up he's more than, more than ready for. He's, um, it's a pleasure to train. He's a really down to earth kid, you know. With, you know, Tommy just mentioned there the heavyweight division is buzzing at the minute, and you know, we had two heavyweights last week that excited us, excited us in the ring on the night, and excited us more in the build up. I think in many ways with the with the name calling and what they what they did. But Nathan's a little bit like out of my mode. He's not like that at all, but he is equally just as confident as them guys and. Uh, He's on the. Uh, he's not someone that is on the name of everyone, anyone's lips at the minute. Um, but I do believe he will be very, very shortly, and it starts for him April, April first. You know, so um, yeah, we're looking forward to it. It's his biggest test. You know what I mean? He's, you know, he can hopefully break into the top ten, um, and uh, we're very, we're very much looking forward to it. Yeah. So um, thanks for having us today. We we'll look forward to the to the event. Thanks, Tommy. Thank you, Ricky. Also to my left, another man that needs no introduction. Um, 
former European and Commonwealth heavyweight champion, a man that shared the ring with none other than Lennox Lewis, and a man that used to be in camp regularly with Mike Tyson. There is, I'm sure you've um, seen a lot of these domestic heavyweight dust ups in your time, was involved in one or two. How, uh, how you see this fight, and, and how do you think Dominic's preparation is going? Uh, well, first of all, Tommy, thank you for giving us the opportunity to be on this stage uh, with Dominic coming back. And Ricky said some very important things, very interesting. Um, Nathan is a very good fighter. I watch him coming up, and Ricky spoke highly of him, and I see him doing things. So he's definitely a, a big challenge for Dominic also. Dominic is, at right now, a hungry fighter. I've seen something in him that I haven't seen in a, in a long time in a lot of fighters, and that's, that's that desire, a burning desire. <coughs> Professional boxing or, or boxing on a whole is, is a thing that is not scripted. You have to you have to live it, and, and nothing hurts more than living an undefeated record. And right now you've got a, like a hungry, wounded animal wants to come out of and show what he's what he's all about. So yeah, I can expect an exciting night or for fights. I mean, the heavyweights are the big boys. They're the, the dinosaurs, and I can see the young heavyweight coming forward trying to. Overcome Dominic and Dominic trying to stamp his authority and say, "Well, this is my my domain." So it's going to be um, definitely a competitive uh, matchup. <coughs> Dominic is prepared in in all areas. So we so have no stone unturned in, in the, uh, conditioning, sparring. He's uh, living like a like a proper gladiator. I've input my um, experience. Like Tommy said, I've been around in the game fighting at top level for a long time, fighting in the heavyweight game, knowing what you have to do to win. And Dominic has put a lot of time into it. So on, on work effort alone, I tell him how often for the dedicated himself and he has a lot to, to approve <coughs> and to move forward. So I look forward to a great night. Thank you, Derek. Um, firstly, I'd like to obviously introduce Dominic Akinlade, former Southern Area Heavyweight Champion. And a man that I've been through over the past year, a really, really um, emotional journey. It's probably one of a better word. Um, we've been through ups and recently downs, but it's how you get up from those moments of, of adversity that makes you a champion. Um, I personally want to say now that I believe that you're going to see the best Dominic Akin Lavi on the 1st of April, and I'm sure you're going to see the best Nathan Gorman. Um, the reason we kind of work for home advantage is because these kind of fine margins, you try and fight for that home advantage to get your fight to the advantage. But I think on the night, it's going to be a fantastic fight. And I'd just like to say, as always, it's been a pleasure working with Dominic over the last year. And I hope we're going to have a lot more great nights to come. And uh, Dominic, just let people know just what sort of condition you're in and how you see this fight coming up on April 1st. Basically, I've, for the last three weeks, I've been emotionally, I've been very angry with myself. Um, I've tortured myself for the last three weeks, looking over and over again at the mistakes I made, what happened on the night. And I'll continue to torture myself until fight night. Usually, I come with a very different demeanor. You know, I'm quite a jolly person, but as you can see, I'm not. I'm very, very serious about this. Um, I was, I guess, to a certain degree, I overlooked my opponent. I didn't take my situation that I was in emotionally into consideration. I was kind of arrogant and I paid for it. I overlooked him and was looking towards this particular fight because those kind of challenges, I don't really get up for, you know. Um, I was looking at this guy as, well, you know, it's just another fight. It wasn't really anything. I can't get up for fights like that. Nathan Warden is a fight that I will get up for. And with what has happened, it's just really put me on, the, on a different level mentally. So on the night, everything will come together. And I can, I, you can expect an explosive fight, a great effort for myself. And I'm sure Nathan's going to come and bring it. That's all I've got to say. Thank you, Dominic. Nathan, welcome today, mate. Thank you very much for coming down to uh, Bamboo, this press conference. Um, we know, obviously, about your your pedigree and your uh, there's an interesting backstory that I let you um, I let you go over. But yeah, just introduce yourself to the media. Um, I think we're going to be hearing a lot about this man over the next you know few years. Um, 
unfortunately, I hope, I hope for him on the 1st of April, he has one notch on his record and then moves on to bigger and better things, but I'm sure he disagrees. Nathan, welcome to the table. It's good to be here. No, thanks everyone for turning out. Um, as Dominic said, that loss hopefully is a blessing in disguise. I hope he is training as hard as he can. And it turns up April the 1st because I'm in the gym with Rick every single day. I'm training hard. Um, I'm not overlooking Dominic, you know, in every aspect of the way. I do believe he's going to be my toughest test up to date. I would have wished it would have been for the English title, but at the end of the day, things happen in boxing, it's heavyweight boxing. And uh, I'm looking forward to April the 1st. <coughs> I've, left, I've left no stone unturned. I've done the runs. Um, I've done everything by the book. I've ate right, trained right, slept right, done everything. And Dominic hopefully bring it April the 1st, and so will I. I do believe it's bred in me, you know, where um, if you look down my generations of breeding, I'm a nephew to Barley Gorman, if any of you have heard him, you know, the former king, king in the travel as well, playing up for boxing, and I believe it's been passed down to me. I do believe I'll be the next heavyweight champion. So I've got to say it that one. Uh, big statements finish off with Mark. I certainly believe, as I said, you're going to be hearing a lot about this man. And as I said, you know, it's a fantastic show. Um, you know, just want to summarise a little bit of the undercard because it's probably the best one we've put together so far. I think it's more than worthy of a, of a main event that we've got here. I'm just going to introduce some of the fighters um, on the bill. Some of them set up here today, but I'm just going to run through the undercard. <coughs> some of you know who's on who's on the show. So supporting the main event will be heavyweight AJ Carter, Nathaniel Wilson. Super featherweight Jack Reigns, Chesney Hawkins, Tony Banch, Samuel Antwi, Jack Smith, O'Shane Clark, Zahir Al Katani, hope I got that right, Lewis Green, Ryan Charles, Danny Connor, <coughs> and Stephen Andrews. Some of them sat up here at the table today. I'd like to just introduce for them to say a few words if they may. So firstly, I'd like to introduce uh, AJ Carter, heavyweight. Welcome, AJ. Right. Good afternoon to everyone. Um, I'm excited to finally be back in the ring after over a year off. I've decided to take time out to aid my recovery. Um, I can sit here and tell you that I've been training hard. That's what we're all supposed to do. <coughs> it's our job. We're supposed to be training hard. But you guys will see when I take my top off and how I fight in the ring. I'll be a completely different fighter. I've had a lot of time out to focus and to train with my trainer, Richard Williams, former IBO like middleweight champion, former Commonwealth champion as well. Um, that's, that's really it, I've just been training hard. <coughs> And I've changed my style, and you'll see when I take my top off, when I get in the ring, what I'll do. Okay, and uh, I think you'll be hearing a lot about AJ Carr in the domestic heavyweight scene this year. I think he's going to make a, a big noise. I'm looking forward to working with him over the next year and hopefully beyond. Next to uh, AJ's left is a young welterweight. Um, pretty confident, as you can see by the attire he's wearing. But is that here? Welcome to uh, welcome today, mate. And um, just introduce yourself again to the to the media and just tell them a little bit about what they can expect to make them first from you. Good afternoon, everyone. First of all, I'd like to thank Tommy and Doug Promotion for this opportunity. Uh, well, April first. It's going to be very exciting. Very confident. I've been training hard, sparring, been brutal. So I can only offer you. To be honest, it's going to be an easy fight. Like, I'm not even. I'm not understanding my opponent. But I've been training really hard. I've been sparring middle middleweights, I've been pushing the middleweights to the limits, they've been pushing me to my limits. So training's been good. I'm looking forward to it, I'm excited. Guys, look after my name. It's gonna be it's gonna be the making. And that's all I have to say. Thank you. Thank you, sir. And finally on the, on the far left, <coughs> to my far left, is a young man if he takes his hat off and you rewind the clock back about 20 years, you probably see a little bit of uh, a young Ricky Hatton in him, but he's a lot well to wait. Very, very, very <laughs> <sad. laughs> <laughs> 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 
<laughs> that one was crazy. <laughs> <laughs> but um, all joking aside, um, made his debut um, on the, I think it was the October 15th show at your call, and um, he really made an impression. He, he's a fantastic young talent, he's only a young man, and I think he's got a really bright career ahead of him. Um, Chesney, welcome again to the show. Um, sorry about the little joke, right. I don't mean to insult you or anything, or insult Wiki. But um, yeah, just tell us a little bit about how your career's been going. I know you're training with Team Wilkie. Yeah, I'm training with Alec Wilkie. Uh, had my first professional fight in October. And I broke my thumb, so I've been out. So I'm back now, 1st of April, feeling fit and ready to go. Yeah, got away. <coughs> having a good camp as well, yeah, injury free. Good, yeah, injury free. Perfect. Good stuff. And as I said, um, Chesney's fighting uh, Liam Richards on the night. And I think, as, as again, those of you that will be there, keep an eye out because I think he's an exceptional talent. I think he's going to do very well. So Ricky's, to Ricky's right, we've got a few other young fighters that we'd like to introduce. Firstly, young Tony Banch. How are you, sir? Cool. Good stuff. Uh, Nazim Mads, Dr. J. It's a shame we couldn't get Naz here today. <coughs> what a top table that would have been, eh? But um, Tony's here nonetheless. And um, just tell us a little bit about how your career's gone so far, um, mate. And, Again, are you progressing? Everything's going well. Want to get myself up to 10 and all by the end of next year. Keep busy, keep fighting. This one's going to be number four. Coming to win. No messing around. <coughs> yeah. 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 Man of little words, but I assure you in the ring, he's, uh, he's a fantastic prospect. And again, looking forward to seeing him on April the 1st. And then to uh, his right, a man that really, again, no, needs no introduction. Man has been around for a while now and um, had a fantastic win um, in 2015 against um, a domestic rival, uh, Ricky Boylan. And I was hoping, and I think a lot of people were, that he was going to go from strength to strength. But I think Danny will be the first to admit that he's probably not done as much as what he wanted to. But Danny, welcome today, mate. It's a pleasure to have you here. Yeah, and uh, just let us know, you know, what's, what, what's going on and, and what you're going to be doing with yourself in the next year. Thanks for getting me on the show, so it's good to be on a such a big show a lot all obviously with like such big names and that. I want to say thank you to uh, my management team, MTK Global, Daniel and Anto for getting on the show also. And a thank you to uh, AG Edwards and Sun Demolition who sponsored me. Um, yeah, like I said, obviously I beat Ricky in 2015, it's old news now, you know what I mean? I should, maybe I should have pushed on, but that's the reason I got with, uh, with MTK Global. I put my faith in them, you know, they've, um, they've got me few wins on the road, three, four wins on the road. Like I said, I've had, had a bit of time out, but um, I'm back in back in business now. Um, gonna get a win in, and then hopefully I'll push on towards titles later on in the year, whether it be the Southern area, English, whatever whatever it is. I've been around a bit now, so I need to push on and uh, start making some, some noise again, but like I said, uh, we'll just see what happens. So I'm confident again. I'm just doing, uh, like I said, a good gym round at the moment with Chesney, Coming on leaps and bounds, Ivy Hill and that we've got we've got a good team around us at the moment. So uh, just looking forward to April the first. Make some noise again. Yeah, uh, absolutely. Thanks, Dan. Um, and finally, uh, just to Dan's right, he's a young man, young well to wait, plenty of talent coming out of the Camberley Boxing Club. Uh, along with Tony, a stable mate of yours. Yeah. Welcome, I'm Shane, and, and thanks very much for being here today. And just again, introduce the media to yourself and just what you plan to do on April 1st. Afternoon, everyone. I just want to say thank you to Tony Dublin and Kat for having me on such an amazing card. And I just can't wait for April 1st to showcase my talent and what I can do in the ring. <coughs> I'm 2 0 as a professional. I'm looking to have at least another four fights this year, four or five fights this year, and just make my, my mark in what weight division, basically. And again, thank you for Tommy and for me on such an amazing show. Thank you, Aisha. Okay, so I believe that's pretty much the summary of the, the show. Um, as I always say, um, if you are going to come down on April the 1st and haven't got a ticket yet, always support your boxers. I always encourage you to go to your boxers if you know them. They're working around the club, not just to train, but to make a living as well. And ticket selling is probably the hardest part of that. If you are casual or you don't know any of the boxers, go to our ticket agent, the ticket master, and you can get a ticket from there. Um, I think that's pretty much it. Thanks again, everyone, for coming, and, and I look forward to seeing you, most of you, I hope, on April the 1st. It will be a fantastic show, one of the best yet. And I'm now going to invite anyone to ask questions, and after that, we'll do some head to heads and one on ones. Anyone got any questions for the table? <coughs>
church. Okay. What, what about do you train? Do you train at uh, I train at Lansbury um, yeah. in London. Do you come from East London then? Yeah, I'm from Mitchell, sorry. Oh, right. All right then, guys. Shall we um, do some head-to-heads and then we'll do uh, some one-on-ones?